So another moment in time where a lot has happened, and I mean a lot has happened. Tifu stopped streaming, just kind of quitting out of nowhere, mental health issues, to XQC being signed to kick for $100 million, okay? Now, there are, there are a lot of big things going on here, and I really want you to understand how big these things actually are. XQC being signed to kick is a non-exclusive deal. Now, let me explain to you what that means if you don't understand what that means, right? XQC being signed as a non-exclusive deal means that he can stream wherever the hell he wants to stream. I appreciate you tuning into this podcast episode. We're going to be going through a lot of different stuff like kick and how much money it takes to really get the best gaming quality possible. But before we do that, I want to ask you to like the video because again, I'm trying to get guests on this podcast and the bigger... The more likes we get, the more comments we get, the bigger that the guests will get. So I appreciate it. Thank you very much. And enjoy the rest of the podcast. Okay? And Kick is offering him $100 million to stream with them. Not exclusively. I talked about this in another podcast not too long ago. But Joe Rogan signed with Spotify for $200 million. He does podcasts like these, but talking to other people. Okay, if you don't know who Joe Rogan is. He does interviews. Just kind of talking back and forth. It's more of it's less of an interview and more of a casual conversation, right? XQC got signed for a hundred million dollars, which is a hundred million less than Joe Rogan, for playing video games and streaming. That is a huge deal. For anyone that doesn't know that. A, a absolutely tremendous deal. That is insane. Now, I'm not saying that every one of us can do that. But what I'm saying now is that this shit's getting real. Right? Not the podcasting, not the streaming, but like gaming in general now is getting real. Like podcasting was a little bit more widely recognized as like a thing. Right? Like... Oh, yeah, you're on a podcast. That's really awesome. Oh, you play vi video games? Oh, you won a tournament? Oh, that's cool. Like, not a lot of people cared about that, especially in the older generations. But now with this headline, with XQC signing with Kick for $100 million, for games, for playing games, for streaming, now it's starting to get more of a serious craft. Now we're starting to get more attention, right? Now the tournaments aren't going to be so aren't going to be so, you know, like, oh, it's a tournament, who cares? Like, yes, there's definitely, like, there's a, what, $5 million tournament? Was that, was that, was that the highest, or, or was it three? It might have been three, three or five. I, I don't I don't remember exactly right now, but that was a lot of money. But $100 million for gaming, right? Now we're starting to get to, you know, and I, and I do want to, I do want to preface this as, let's hope it's not another mixer thing right but that was also made by microsoft not by you know this kick is not microsoft okay let's let's put it that way mixer was a very bad deal for ninja which i think also was the thing that led that kind of led him off the rails to kind of you know stop streaming for a while because i think there was just too much shit go, going on in his in his life and he didn't want to deal with that shit but being able to stream on kick and to be honest, I'm pretty sure that the deal was more than $100 million. It was about, it was $100 million at first, right? So they, they announced it and it was like $80 million in like uh, incentives, or sorry, for the, the contract itself. But then there was $20 million for um for like bonuses and stuff like that and, 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 and incentives. Still a lot of money. Don't get me wrong. Um, but let's take, let's take to, to, to the computer real quick. I want to, I want to take a look here real quick. I have a couple things to show you, but we'll, we'll show you that in a second. Um, is the XQC and kick deal non-exclusive? I want to make sure that I'm right about this. I'm pretty sure it was not exclusive, not exclusive deal. So. So he has officially signed a non-exclusive deal. Now again, that that that's a lot. Like that means a lot 
right? So he can stream wherever the hell he wants to stream it. Like, Joe Rogan signed an exclusive deal with Spotify, so he had to take all of his stuff off of every other platform, including you, you, YouTube. And I talked about this again in my other podcast, but there is a there is a huge deal there. Like, Joe Rogan on YouTube was probably making an ad revenue a lot of money. He had he had over a billion views, over a billion. I think he was I think he was closing in on like a hundred billion views on his channel with the full one hour like one hour plus five hour you know podcast ep- ep- episodes. Like this wasn't like clips of it. Like this is like full on hour plus long videos. He was getting five to ten to twenty to thirty million views on each one of these videos, right? I'm guessing their ad revenue didn't go away completely. I mean, they still have, like, the clips or whatever else, so they're still making some money. But, you know, it's like, he signed an exclusive deal with Spotify, so he had to take all that stuff down, which they were probably getting thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of views an hour, you know, probably making tons of ad revenue, and he had to take that down for Spotify. So that must have been a pretty juicy deal for him, to, to be honest. He probably saw a lot more longevity in that than, than, than he did in YouTube, which, again, good, good, good for him. But... Back to gaming. Like, he is getting paid $100 million, $100 million less than Joe Rogan to play games. Now we're starting to get into the real meat and potatoes of things here. Like, the potential is getting even larger. Like, there, there is no limit now, especially with AI co- coming out and technology. Like, there is looking like there is going to be no limit to how much money you can make doing this kind of stuff. Right? There's going to be avenues ev- everywhere. And, and I think that this is the this is that one thing in history as a stepping stone, which I which I also think Joe Rogan was for for podcasts, but but I think XQC for streamers that is going to be a a milestone that, that they put in textbooks about this kind of stuff in the future. So, if you're thinking about getting get, get, getting into gaming, I can tell you it's not going to be an easy road, like gaming and streaming and whatever else. It's not going to be an easy road, but. You will come close to that eventually one day if you stick with it for a very long time. XQC has been streaming for well over a decade. And that's something that you really have to keep in mind. Like this stuff, get good at your craft. Get very good at talking. Get good at speaking with others. Get get good at connection, at connecting. Get good at connecting with others. You are, you will never reach the top alone. That is a one piece of advice that I will that I will give you. Now, I'm not at the top, all right? I'm not at the top yet. <clears throat> but you will never reach the top by by yourself. And XQC definitely had a lot of influence. People talking about him, making videos about him, making videos about this. Like, that is what's really bringing this stuff to light. And I do want to go back here. Let's see. This is something that I thought was interesting, too. And I'll move my, I'll move my camera real quick. XQC has implied that he's actually been offered more than $100 million to join streaming the streaming platform Kick in his recent historical deal. Early in June, 2020 fans took to social media to make a voice to believe Kick's was leaving. Okay, so yada, yada, yada. Um, that's a big deal. That's a big deal. If it's even more than that, then that's even, that's even crazier, right? Like that's something that is almost unfathomable. At, at the end of the day. Like, I, I don't even know what to think about that. XQC being um, pretty much being the stepping stone for every other streamer out there is a big deal. And I know a lot of people are probably watching this that like don't stream or whatever else and they just play games like, oh my God, what, you know. Listen, sh- donating to streamers does help any bit of money helps i i did a, did a video on this before somebody called out i forgot the guy's name i forgot the streamer's name i don't watch him but he he, he had like a brand deal of thirty thousand dollars people like don't donate to streamers look these guys work hard now in my last podcast about tfue i can tell you right now that these guys work hard and there is a lot of mental stress and physical stress in some cases going on with a lot of these guys and Every little bit of helps, every little bit of support helps, even if it's just a like or a comment or whatever. Like, every little bit does help. It doesn't matter, really, at the end of the day, you know, like, how much money they donate. Like, they, a lot of these guys, a lot of the guys that are doing it for just the sake of doing it, girls too, not not all guys, um, 
they're doing it because they love doing it. They're, they're not doing it because of the money. If you're going to get into this for, for, the, for the money, if you see that $100 million number and that's all you really focus on, I can tell you that XQC's journey to get to that $100 million was not easy. At, at all, nor nor was it fun in, in 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 every single case, especially now with the state of gaming. I don't think that XQC really was having that much fun. I also don't watch XQC that much. I really don't watch him at, at all, but I but I I do enjoy some of the clips that I see about him. He's a very a- enter- entertaining character. So so is as uh, as Asmund Gold. They're they're funny. He's he's funny too. But you know. That sets the bar now. That sets the bar for where, where we can go. Because I can tell you the next deal is going to be maybe $500 million or even more. You know, like it could be even more than that. It could be, it could be a billion dollars. Like, you know, Mr. Beast is setting the bar very high for the YouTube community. Like, being he's pretty much a billionaire. Like, if they revealed Mr. Beast's revenue, and it was, it was on Graham Stephan. I don't know if you guys watched Graham Stephan. But they, but they revealed how much Mr. Beast actually makes on one of his like Spanish dub channels. Like not even Spanish. I'm pretty sure it was a different channel, but it was sixty three thousand dollars a month. Mr. Beast gets on that channel. He got one hundred fifty seven million views in that month. On his main channel, he gets that in one video, one hundred twenty, one hundred thirty, with views tri- trickling in still. And he has well over 20 channels. Just just think about that for a minute, right? Now let's let's do the math on that real quick. Let's 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 hop back over to to to, to the computer. And let's and let's do that math, right? So he's got he's got let, let's just do an average, right? Let's say $63,000, right? Let's say all 20 channels make that. I'm pretty sure he's got 20 channels. He he, he might have more. Times 20. That is $1.2 million a month from all the channels. Now, that's on the low end, probably. I can guarantee you it's probably 10 to $20 million. He's probably making a hundred. He's probably, I can guarantee you just in ad revenue, he's probably making almost, he's probably making almost $100 million a year off of all those channels. I can guarantee you that. So his brand deals, and he's admitted to having a brand deal on the Graham Stephan uh, channel. He, he admitted to having brand deals that were um in that were actually in the three like the millions like three million i think was like around the ballpark of, of like the highest one he's had now not all of his brand deals are like that but probably they probably are in the millions if not in the high hundreds of thousands right and it's like every video he's got one right so even there now we got to look at you know how many channels he has and how many, you know, how many he actually brand deals he does on those channels. So that's something also that I want you to think about. Actually, the philanth- the philanthropy, pa- the philanthropy channel is actually not, um, doesn't have that. So it, that, that all that revenue goes to actual, uh, philanthro- philanthro- I can't say that word Ph- philanthropy. So all that goes to that. So I, I can't really, um, a hundred percent say that that's, you know, that's the, the end there, but, um, you know, let's take out a, let's take out a million just, you know, just to be just for fun, you know, um, <laughs> per, per, per month. So <clears throat> he's, he's definitely making, he's, he's definitely worth a billion dollars. I can tell you that right now. I don't think he's making a billion yet, but I definitely think he's, 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 he's worth a billion dollars. Like his companies could be sold for well over a billion dollars. Obviously he got the deal for a billion, which again, that also, that's a historic set. That's a historic bar that had to be set, right? Like Mr. Beast got offered a billion dollars to sell all of his channels, and he just turned them down. He he turned them down. So I just wonder when when Jimmy's uh, breaking point's gonna, gonna 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 be. If it's gonna be if he does have a breaking point, I hope he doesn't. I, I hope he just goes on for as long as he actually wants to, and I hope that he like you know builds his channels and builds his thing and so, sells it for eventually for like a hundred billion dollars or something like like that, just to some poor soul that can that can afford it, you know. Um. But yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, the, so the bar was set on YouTube, right? The bar was set on YouTube for a billion, a billionaire, definitely worth over a billion dollars, Mr. Beast. The bar was set for Spotify for podcast being Joe Rogan, 
right? Now the bar is set for gaming and st- and streaming with $100 million. So the money's out there, right? You just got to go get it. But you also don't just be chasing the money. Chase making a better video. Chase making be- better podcasts, you know, with better lighting. I have to get more lights. I have to, you know, soften this light up and maybe do like a backlight and whatever else. I need a full studio, let's be honest. If this is really going to take off, I-, I need a studio, right? So there is so much potential here, and I want you to understand that. Wh- whether you're a casual gamer or if you're a hardcore gamer and you're trying to like, you know, start a podcast you're trying to start content creator or if you're even just trying to go into game battles and whatever else you know join a team like there there's big money in this don't let, don't let anyone don't let anyone con- convince you otherwise there, there is money in this everywhere it's just a matter of how do you get it and the way that i can tell you that you can get that money is if you practice and you you just do this for a very long time and you always try to improve yourself never back down from a challenge when it, whenever it comes to this kind of stuff. So with that knowledge, I want you to go out and I want you to enjoy the rest of your weekend, your rest of your Sunday, because this can be posted on Sunday. And I want you to like the video. And if you can leave, leave, leave a comment, that would, that would be awesome too. I've said this before. I want to get start getting guests on, on this podcast and, and, and interviewing them, eventually be able to afford a studio that I can actually bring people to me to, to interview them. Like especially in the gaming space, because I because I think that there's there aren't really very many podcasts or any out there that really have substance. Like I feel like I want to bring to you guys. So getting you guys the best guests, asking the hard questions about ga- gaming and where its future is heading and where it is cur- currently. I really want to get people on here to like really bring you guys some 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 insight on this and you know where 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 Warzone's heading, where Warzone Two's heading, where Call of Duty's heading, where Blackout. Is, is not blackout sorry battlefield is heading so <clears throat> do me just do me at least a favor to like it so that it goes places i appreciate the time thank you very much enjoy the rest of your weekend